all of them start winning. Pitt has the sauce, but we can talk about that another time. Going right to get your Lucina for yes. stock one. I mean, Kool-Aid has this hazmat practice. I mean, he has about the can now, but he knows. We're going to see how King Kamina... Now watch what I said before about um, pushing his advantage. See, he gets the attack, he gets the dash there, but then just starts running away. I feel like part of this matchup in particular, it's actually not that bad of a call because you don't really want to stay in range for Lucina to zone break you. She's always been a fantastic character for breaking through zoning characters, regardless of how traditional or not their tools are. And when a lot of your character's game plan gets foiled by forward air, followed Ooh, by okay. thing, Followed by <laughs> option A. Yeah, like, like Lade has the world at his disposal when it comes to actually getting something off of a hit. Especially right. against a character like uh, Richter. Because once the edge guard starts, that's it. One good read, and it doesn't matter how well Common is playing. Right, for sure. I mean, this stock actually kind of impressing me. I thought Lade would figure him out like fairly quickly and then just get to work. But this stock is actually pretty close. But that back air is a little, little nice in the back air. Gonna steal that first stock for Blade. You know, I like his Lucina, the fact that it just kind of like, it's much less like just like swing the sword and more so like, you know, I'm just gonna wait for you to do something and then I'm gonna kind of swing the sword. Yeah, Blade's always been the kind of player to like, look at the more gimmicky aspects of what a character can bring and then figure out how to use that as like a spice atop their already strong tools. Coupled in with good fundamentals that he has as a player, I feel like it's a really interesting Ooh, approach, nice. especially to a character like Lucina, who's typically regarded as being a very effective but bland. King Kamina not doing too terrible. You know, I kind of take back what I said before that he doesn't push his, his advantage because he's pushing it pretty well now. I mean, I mean, he's he, trying, but like sword beats whip. I mean, that's just how it's going. Big facts. Ooh, I don't like the air dodge. That was probably nerves. Blade gonna follow up with a back air. Let's see what the edge guard is. No edge guard. Coming to get back on the stage immediately, but he's taking tons of damage trying to get anything going. Right. Gonna go for the forward throw. See what the edge guard is. Ooh, Nair's gonna take that stock. Keep, keeping him nice on the edge. And it, I don't think that King Common is doing terrible. It's just that when late, like, hits you, it, it, it hurts. 51? It just keeps going. Right. It's a lot to that note of, like, so Lucina can afford to extend pretty deeply onto the Belmonts. Like, she gets her hit, and the next change just goes on and on, but that game one doesn't, as it goes right to lead. Right. To my knowledge, Kamina doesn't have any other characters besides his Belmont, so, like, he's living by the Belmont blood. He's dying he has Joker, by it. Joker, but I don't think I don't, his Joker's ready yet. I do not want yet. to see his Joker. No, his, do not do I don't think me. his Joker's ready yet. But, you know, you were talking about how cool it's like a Brawl vet, right? And when I when I think of Brawl vets, right, I always think of like that download and that play it slow factor into like the explosion combos. Like, I feel like late kind of just like, cause you know, back in Brawl, like everyone played Meta Knight, like what made one person's Meta Knight stick out from the others? So I feel like late is just gonna, you know, still download and wait. I mean, sticking with, sticking with Lucina, Richter. sticking with Richter. Yep, this is what I figured. Because the only other character I could see Lade going is possibly Pac-Man, and I on the real, you, wanted the Pac -Man. you don't want Pac-Man into Belmont. I wanted the Pac-Man, not gonna lie, but that was just, you know, throwing things from one side of the stage. Town of City is the pick, I like it. It gives Kamina time to, like, actually try and limit the, um, the ways that Lucina Ooh. can continue to press on him. Good recovery, Ooh. but, like, look at this damage that you're eating just for existing, and because the Belmonts don't have any reliable burst options when they're getting pressured, Kamen just gotta hold that. Uppercut isn't that quick, and it also doesn't cover that far ahead of him, so he can't really safely use it. It's like a worse version of the Dolphin Slash. Right. Blade gonna get the back throw. We'll see what this first edge guard looks like. Goes for the Dancing Blade. Kamina reverses the edge guard. Doing the typical Belmont throw. Ooh, but that back yeah. air is gonna take that first stock. Town of City! I what do you think like about the stage? I feel like it's a really good stage for the Belmonts because you have so much lateral space that you can cover with your projectiles. You also get a good a, a good amount of mileage from the axe because of the platforms where they're positioned in relation to the other places you could stand. My only problem with this is the fact that Kamina isn't taking, I personally think, the right approach to this matchup where I feel like he should be trying to go in with more of his close range options. And once he gets to the ledge, just keep on resetting the situation. Go, Don't go for anything too heavy with your projectiles unless you're certain that it's going to land. Right. Otherwise, that little bit of time that you give Lade to come back on you, he's going to come through in there. I feel like, I don't think 
Lade necessarily has the download, but I think Lade has just kind of figured it out. Like, he's not completely, like, wrecking him. Like, he's still sitting at high percent on his third stock, and I do believe Kamina will get this stock, but Lade is just playing so methodical. Just like, you know, he understands now what Kamina really wants to go for. Lade sees his path to victory, and he's just going through the motions to get there. We haven't really seen much else besides Ooh. the da occasional dancing blade mix-ups, which, admittedly, kind of schnasty. Yeah, it's like I'm, I was saying earlier. You know, you see in a lot of beginner. I was actually going to bring up the dancing blade thing because you see a lot of in like beginning Lucinas are like, oh god, that move is so good. So a lot of Lucinas base their neutral around it, and while it is a good move, using it to just space it out and not just like using it in neutral, but that is going to be an SD, and that's going to be the end of that game. That's unfortunate. Yeah. I don't but think too terrible by Kamina, but... For Belmont? For no. Belmont, definitely not. But for Kamina, I know he's not happy with oh, the Oh, of course not. So he 